Typhoon Morikot roared through Taiwan over the weekend, causing the worst disaster of Pingdong County's Jala Avus Township has seen in 50 years. Mudslides destroyed the road connecting Kujalao with Jala Avus, Jana Asiya, and Jakwa communities, leaving some 3,000 people high and dry. The road connecting Jala Avus, Jala Asiya, Jakwa communities with the outside world has been completely destroyed. Residents have been left without water or electricity. While the mainstream media have focused on damage to southern Taiwan, as of August 11th, many indigenous communities are still trapped in lack of communication with the outside world. Approximately 1,100 people stranded in the Jala Abus community for four days have almost run out of supplies. Air patrols finally reached the area August 10th to conduct a massive evacuation due to fears that the nearby mountains may collapse. Some 1,100 people were evacuated from the Jala Abus community. During the typhoon, two older residents were in the need of dialysis. Other required medical attention. It was not until August 10th that an air patrol arrived to evacuate the elderly and sick. No one knows for sure when the residents can return to rebuild their homes. Residents of the Jala Abus community were evacuated because of the immediate danger from mud and rock slides. The Chakwal community, however, was not evacuated because the government says it sees no immediate threat. We received supplies August 9th. We were not able to contact the community. So this morning, we requested that the military and members of our staff carry aid to the affected areas. The situation in the Chakwal community is also dire. Roads have been buried by rock and mud. One house was completely covered by a mudslide. The roads were damaged, but luckily, the Chakwa Bridge is still open. There is no water or electricity. Currently, between 300 and 400 people are still trapped. Roads the Chakwa community run along the Jalja Avus and Kwaula rivers. The recent downpour turned roadsides into precipices, making reconstructions even more difficult. TITV Weekly.